it's Catherine Norland. Have you ever lacked motivation? Do you ever feel like, man, I've had these things on my to-do list for days and I don't know why I'm not getting to them. I'm striving, I'm really trying to make it happen and it's not happening. Well, I'm gonna tell you why you're not motivated. That's what we're gonna discuss in this video. So, the reason you can't get things off your to-do list, the reason you are constantly procrastinating, it's not necessarily a lack of motivation. Now, I've got my, this one client of mine saying, call, just call me, I'll give you whatever hundreds of dollars for you, just call me and give me some motivation. Okay, well that's great in the moment, but that's not sustainable, that's not going to keep you. Watching another um, motivational video isn't necessarily going to sustain you. So there's a couple things at play here when you're not reaching your goals, when you're not motivated to go after them, when you're feeling lethargic, when you're doing everything else but what's on your to-do list. You know those days, you're like, I know I have to get these things done, but you're doing everything. Like when I find myself sorting my sock drawer or doing like really like deep cleaning projects, that is not me. That's not like a normal thing for me to do. So I'm avoiding something. Why am I avoiding something? The reason you're not motivated, the reason you're avoiding it is because there's something that you're not in alignment with. Sometimes people say, well, you could really force yourself if you just got down to the why. That's been really popular. There's a book out, uh, I think by Simon Sinek about the why. And the why is great. So you, you may know the why. You're like, the reason I want to do this is because I want to make a million dollars to help the kids that are orphans and I want to get, and, and it's a great reason, but if the thing you're doing to get to the why, if the thing you're doing is not bringing you joy and hope, if it's if it's misaligned with your purpose, with what God's called you to do, you're, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna procrastinate on it. You're gonna find every reason not to do it. So what is it that God has called you to? What is it that you have you feel like this is my purpose this is why I'm on earth this is the thing I meant to do when you are in total alignment to how that's going to happen you're you will bound out of bed each morning you will be excited to get out of bed it won't be like pulling teeth if you're in a situation right now where you're like oh I'm so lethargic this is awful I can't do it I just don't want to do it it's not then, then you're not in alignment with something. What are you not in alignment with? Okay, so maybe it's not that you're that you don't have a strong why. Maybe it's that you're not aligned. So there's certain things. So, so for instance, if I wanted, to, if I had this big why, like it's so important for me to make this amount of money to help these orphans, whatever the thing is. The why can be really strong, but you can still be procrastinating because of the how you're trying to do it. Is It doesn't make your heart sing. It's not an alignment. So for instance, I wanted to make a lot of money to help with certain things in certain charities. And I, I was constantly going to these places where it was like workshops on how to make more money and things like that. And I got into stock trading. I was up at 6.30, I was up 6.30 in the morning every day, Pacific Standard Time, because the stock market opened at 9.30, and I'm watching the stock charts, and I'm day trading, and I'm looking at the candlesticks, and I'm trying to decide when to get in, when to get out, I'm looking at all my positions and all the stocks. I hated it. The why was strong. I didn't need to get clear on my why. The vehicle and how I was doing it was not in alignment with with using the gifts God gave me with what I felt was my purpose on earth. I did not want to do something day in and day out solely to make money at it, to have be what I do just dependent upon money. That didn't make my heart happy. That didn't make my soul sing. And I remember sitting at my keyboard going, oh my God gosh, this is awful. I just don't, I don't want to just sit here and just think about how I can, when I can buy, when I can sell, when I can trade, which stocks are to make money. It was, it was soul crushing. Even though I had a very strong and important why. I was like, I would rather just be writing poetry right now, which seems crazy because 
I haven't made a fortune <laughs> doing poetry, but it, it made my heart happy. And it, anybody who reads my poetry, they feel like their soul is enriched by reading it. So what you're doing and and what you want to do and what your purpose is and what you out, want the outcome to be and what the why is, it has to be in line with something you're good at, something you enjoy. Yes, find a way to take your passion and turn it into profit. Find a way to take the pain that you've been through and show others how to make it out of it, how to make it through that so that you can turn your pain into your passion and you can turn your passion into your profit, right? So what is it that you've got going on in your life that is not lining up? It doesn't feel in alignment. You have a good why, you, you're you normally executing, but you just feel like you can't get out of bed. So my husband's at a job he doesn't like, and it's hard, it's hard for him to get out of bed. He's got a very important why. He's got his family and his children, and Timothy needs his medical insurance. And so he does it, but it, he's not loving it. He's not going the extra mile. He's not bounding out of bed. It's just kind of like people are people who are in their jobs and they're kind of half dead doing it. His why is important, but it's not in alignment with who he is, who God created him to be, and the gifts God has given him. Now, I can't change that for him. I can't decide to pick a different line of profession but you can do that for yourself if someone else around you is miserable you can lead them to like hey why don't you try this or this but some people are scared to take new chances are you scared to take new chances are you in a place where you know this job is not it maybe it's good money maybe it's a means to an end maybe it's a starter thing but maybe you need a side hustle that will eventually become your full-time gig that's going to make your heart happy, that's going to make your soul sing, that's going to be able to accomplish the why, which is going to make you want to bound out of bed in the morning, excited to start your day. A lot of times I can't sleep past 5 a.m. because I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to work on this book and I got to work on this course and I got to help with this and this. Oh, if I do this, um, six things, uh, you know, and I, and I just, it just is nonstop awesomeness. It doesn't mean I don't hit brick walls, but when you have a, um, a strong why and you're in alignment with you're doing the things that are in alignment with your purpose with your calling with what you know God put you on earth for with your gifts with your talents things come easier things come easier now meaning you'll bound out of bed meaning you'll have the motivation now sometimes people settle they settle because maybe they've been in this job a long time maybe they're good at what they do they don't really like it but they're really competent so the money comes easy but listen when I'm talking about easy I'm talking about making your heart sing making your soul on fire you're helping people you're doing that thing God told you to do that is is in your heart and maybe it's a little bit more difficult at first to make money but it's easier to get out of bed it's easier to feel more peace and joy it's easier to feel better about yourself so those are the things I'm talking about when I when I say it's easy some people are in jobs you know they're in a what what we call the six-figure trap what is a six-figure trap a lot of people in life want to get to the point where they're making six figures, where they're making a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars a year, and they finally get it and they reach this level of comfort. Sometimes comfort is the thing that kills your dreams. I have friends like this, and I have a couple of clients that because they are making close to a million dollars a year they're in that six-figure trap they don't want to leave that comfort zone that cushiness that's paying for a nice lifestyle because the nice lifestyle spending the money getting the things they want is bringing them a temporary joy a temporary comfort but the thing is at the end of the day they have to look back at their life and say was it worth it? I'm in this job that I don't like and what I had to do was dull my senses. I had to spend thousands of dollars to go to um, concerts, to enjoy my weekends, to take my mind off the fact that I'm doing a job that I don't love, 
that is not what I feel like God has called me to, that is not in alignment with my calling, my purpose, my dreams, and the gifts God has given me. So those are some questions you need to start asking yourself. Am I doing the things I'm doing because I'm comfortable where I'm at? I know I want something more out of life, but this is cushy. This is easy in the sense that I know I can just go up, go to work, show up, get a paycheck, but something feels like it's missing inside you. There's a hole in your heart that hasn't been filled, that the money, though it's fun, the money hasn't given you that level of joy, that level of peace. And there's parts of you that say, someday, someday I'm gonna write that book. Someday I'm gonna do that thing. Someday is not a day of the week. So you have to be clear. You only have this one life. And when people get to the end of their life, most of the time, people are not regretting the things they did. They're regretting the things they didn't do. So where do you need to take a chance? Where do you need to jump out of your comfort zone and jump into the place that's gonna cause you, although it's a little scary, to feel like this is my purpose, this is exhilarating, I am bounding out of bed each day to make this happen, I'm excited, yeah, it's a little difficult to figure out, yeah, I need to get help, maybe I need to hire a mentor, maybe I need to hire a coach, maybe I need to take some training projects, um, programs, but when I do this, I feel alive. Yes, I'm not making as much right now, but I'm gonna figure that out. And there's there's no price you can put on feeling in alignment, feeling like you're doing what makes your heart sing, feeling like you're in God's purpose, in God's will, doing what you were made for. So we've gotta get out of our comfort zone. We gotta realize our motivation is not necessarily having to do with not being motivated, but it has to do with not being in alignment with our true self, our true nature, and our true calling. If this is, if, if any of this resonated with you, leave a comment. Let me know, are you stuck in your comfort zone? Is that something that you are feeling like, yeah, that's me, I'm not in alignment? That's, this makes total sense. They make sense in the comments. If you realize you've been trying to jack yourself up, trying to make yourself feel motivated, and you realize it's not a motivation thing. It's a lack of alignment thing. Okay, so hope that was helpful to you. And sometimes people don't realize that maybe they're not going after what their dream is because they don't feel like they're worthy. If that is you, I, I've got uh, three videos that came right out of my online course called You Are Worthy. And I packaged them up in a little three video set for you that's gonna go deep into the heart of the matter. It's called You Are Worthy worthy no matter what. I want you to download that and watch those trainings. I think that's going to really open something up for you. For those of you who aren't going after that goal or dream in your heart, that's really important because there's some little part of you that doesn't feel like you deserve it. Then go to freegiftfromcoachcat.com and download that. It will certainly bless you. All right, my friends, live true, love hard, and shine bright.